What's up bike lovers, my name is Sam Weber and today we're going to be talking about how to make your homemade chainstay protector. For those of you who don't know, this right here is your chainstay, but if you're watching this video, you probably do know. So we're going to be working on my new Kona Hanzo steel frame. This is my baby and I don't want her to get scratched up and the paint chipped when the chain slaps right here against the chainstay. So right here, we're going to be protecting this. Alright, what we're going to need to get this project started are five things. Number one, an inner tube. This is what we're going to use to create the chainstay protector. Number two, scissors. These are going to cut the inner tube to the length and size that we need it. I don't always recommend throwing scissors, but if you're a professional, it's okay. Zip ties. We're going to use these to attach the inner tube to the chainstay and keep it where we need it. Pliers or a multi-tool with a cutting edge to snip the cable ties when we're done. Last but not least, a cold beer, and my favorite is PBR. Step one of this process is to prepare the inner tube to wrap around the chainstay. You're going to need the inner tube and scissors. First thing we're going to do, lay out the inner tube and cut off this valve stem. We're not going to need this. The next step is to split the tube so that it's one flat roll and not an actual tube. Now that we've split the whole inner tube, the next thing we're going to do is do a test wrap to determine the length that we need. Now we're going to do a pre-wrap to determine the proper length for this inner tube because right now we have too much. All you got to do is wrap it like a tennis grip or you're taping a hockey stick. Once you have your tube cut to the proper size, we're going to rewrap the chainstay, attach two zip ties to each side, and it should look something like this. Now that your inner tube is securely fastened to the chainstay, take your pliers and snip away the excess. So now that you know how to make a homemade chainstay protector, you're not going to be cringing every time that chain slaps against your chainstay. Hope to see you all out there and remember to always have fun.